Hello you guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I want to share with you my laundry room organization and decoration. The laundry room is something that I absolutely hate. It's my least favorite chore, so I wanted to make it very fun and inviting as well as luxurious and very organized. I want to come here and actually want to do the laundry, so I also stocked my cabinets with products that I feel like I'm going to be using, products that smell lovely, and the aesthetic of it looks beautiful. So I hope that you enjoy this video and you stay. So without further ado, let's get started. So you guys, as much as I don't want to show you, this is the before of my laundry room. I didn't even bother on cleaning it a little bit before taking out the camera. But yeah, this is how it looks. It was all disorganized. The cabinets were not even functional because they were not even stocked. And they had random knickknacks in them. So what I did is just literally take completely everything out. I had to find a new place for my kitty litter and then just grab all of the different randomness <laughs> that was in the cabinet. Here's little Charlie trying to be a brat. And then I grabbed some uh, microfibers and I started cleaning, sweeping the floors, and then my husband helped me to take some of the quartz that was on top of the washer and dryer to protect it. Over here, I had a great thought about putting some wallpaper. I didn't know if I just wanted a big strip or the whole entire wall. This is a wallpaper that I grabbed from Target. It is a subway tile wallpaper. It's textured and I, I don't know, it comes in a roll. I really liked it. So so the first thing that I did is measure my wall and then I measured vertically also and then I grabbed a foam board and I started cutting it to the size that I wanted and it was so easy to install you guys at first I thought that it was going to be a good idea to just go to the Home Depot and buy one of those fake ceramic or backsplashes that they have it's kind of like plastic and stuff but I'm so glad that I went with the wallpaper you really think that it's really subway tile unless you are literally staring at it really close and I just wanted it to look very modern and clean and for it to be a an easy project for me This is how the wallpaper turned out and I am super happy with it. I will for sure try to utilize it in another area of my house. Right here I am adding a decorative piece with some cookie jars. Some of them are going to be filled with some things that I do use like the Tide Pods and then the cloth pins are just going to be slowly decorative and I'm also going to insert some of my colorful wool dryer balls so this is going to be the first time that i actually utilized the cabinet space in my laundry room so i stocked up with products that i thought smelled amazing that they were a little bit more on the natural side and then some bins just to contain them all And for the items that are necessary but are a little bit of an eyesore, I stuck them into this teal container. And since I had empty cabinet space, I grabbed some candles and also I grabbed some things that were laying around the house to style the counter space. And you cannot have dryer bowls without essential oils, so I have Ylang Ylang. I also love lemon and how fresh and clean it smells. Ylang Ylang is a flower, by the way. Purify, it just smells like clean. And then Citrus Bliss, which is citrusy as the name states it, and floral. So this contraption is behind my door and it just opens up so that I can hang some clothes if I want to. I added this wall art piece and I love how it looks.
I love my baby fiddle leaf fig tree and also the Grove Collaborative laundry detergent dispenser, the essential oils, and obviously these three cookie jars with things that are not only functional but beautiful to look at. And by the way, those books did not end up there. I put them back in the cabinets. It just didn't look good. This book, by the way, is what inspired me of creating this laundry oasis. It's the home edit and I absolutely love it. It has beautiful, colorful, organized pictures of different areas in your house. I highly recommend it. By the way, this is not sponsored, but I just love the style of the book and I think I'm going to be using it as inspiration to organize more areas in my home. My favorite part of this makeover is how beautiful it looks inside of those cabinets. I really do feel motivated to get my laundry in check. I have some sponges, some lint rollers, 7th generation oxy booster packs, some magic erasers, also some multi-purpose wipes, laundry detergent and fabric softener. I use the clear and free for my girls and then I also have a bath foaming spray, some disinfectant and some floor cleaner. Over here are the rest of my Tide Free and Gentle detergent, some 7 generation dryer sheets and my favorite pineapple crumb cake candles and also Viva towels and some toilet paper. Thank you so much for watching and I hope that you enjoyed this organization slash makeover video and that maybe you along with me feel a little bit inspired and motivated to start your own organizational projects. I will see you on my next video. Bye!